Hey, what's going on guys? Um, kind of taking a risk right now, filming in the afternoon, but um, yeah, I um, feel like I should put a video out right now, so uh, I'll just be whispering so that I guess I won't be overheard sounding like a degen and talking about neat stuff, but um, also just wanted to apologize for the nasty ass little stain things on my screen if you guys haven't noticed um i really have no idea why those things are there um i promise you uh, when i bust a nut i don't bust that hard so shouldn't be any splatter action going on you know on the screen but i think it's just because i don't know maybe back in the day i used to uh eat instant noodles or whatever beside my computer and maybe when i was slurping that good shit um I don't know, some of the soup got on the screen. I tried wiping it off, but you know, can't really be perfect with that stuff. But anyways, uh, today I want to talk about uh, my long and decorated work history prior to me becoming neat and just give you guys a, a really um, good example of, I guess, what my employers, my future, prospective employers um i don't know might see on my resume and you know i feel like any employer would be bl would be lucky or blessed to have me work for them because i clearly am not a useless piece of crap i totally um have contributed to society in multiple different ways and um, i'm totally not fucking useless at all but anyways yeah gonna be going going over um i guess what jobs i've had in the past and what i did to make a quick buck or get by and so i guess my first job involved me um working at the as um i don't know it was part of some some bait shop i guess that specialized um in selling these um like french desserts or like cookie things they're kind of like french bougie oreos called macarons and they're like a they're like a meringue shell that's filled with some sort of like buttercream like flavored buttercream as like the filling and you know they're pretty fire i guess but um yeah i was in the back um basically just doing i wasn't responsible for any of the baking obviously um because well i'm i don't know i'm really clumsy i can't um you know i can't not manage to uh f up the process of making these cookie things because well they take a lot of delicate hand-eye coordination and stuff and fine motor abilities and i clearly don't have that um Instead, I was just doing odd jobs in the back, like, you know, helping put the already finished product into boxes. Um, I guess pouring like an egg mixture into like the quiche shell things, because it was also like a, it doubled as sort of a, like a tea shop. I guess that was kind of like the in store dining thing. So I would help assemble like the plates and I would wash dishes at the back. Just really like, menial shit and you know i didn't really mind it for the most part because well you know the only reason i got this job is because <laughs> my uh, my cousin who's uh, actually like 10 years older than me or like more is uh, basically just decided to uh let me work there part-time and uh that's basically what i did is just yeah i would do these jobs but you know um it didn't really uh last that long because um there was this other person there who was working and she um i don't know because i was autistic and i didn't understand that there might be um <laughs> some sort of like i don't know workplace competition dynamic like whatever bullcrap like i was just so autistic and i wanted to um do um you know I guess the best job I possibly could. I was like over eager. So I just, I don't know. I probably gave up this 
this aura or this vibe that I was like trying too hard and trying to outperform um, the other person because um, I feel like this person might have been, I don't know, maybe intimidated. And, you know, it's not that like this person is bad or anything. It's just I was just so socially unaware. And um, I was like basically being a fucking try hard <laughs> putting a I was because I don't know, I just I was bored out of my mind. So I try to make it a game in my mind where like I could see how many of these like little um, box things I could assemble um as quickly as possible like, yeah, like how many of these boxes like takeaway boxes for like the cookie whatever macarons that i could um you know assemble as fast as possible and then i, I probably was like like super eager like coked up like that i don't know like just fucking i was trying way too hard and um you know this person i should have noticed that i was maybe making them uncomfortable or you know like i didn't I feel like as someone just working there part time, I guess it was supposed to be my job to, you know, initiate all the small talk and whatever bullshit like workplace dynamics or, you know, and not, not act like I was trying to, uh, outperform the person already working there. Cause yeah, I guess when you're already working there, you know, you want to take it easy and you don't expect the person who's in you to you know be such a fucking try hard and you know i don't really blame this person but that's just how it was and eventually um you know there was something wrong uh i think the door is left unlocked or something and then you know i uh put i don't know i just flushed whatever was in the dustbin down the toilet or i left it in the toilet and flush it and then well obviously that was my fault too but then this person uh, was like trying to like throw me under the bus almost and kind of like in a very passive aggressive way like i don't know maybe it's on my head but i'm pretty sure like i could sense it you know there's like this really like passive aggressive like oh like i don't know like trying to throw me under the bus and like like trying to like make um like a mockery out of me i guess but like in like a low-key aggressive way, like a low-key, like passive aggressive way. But anyways, it wasn't such a big deal. Uh, but, and you know, uh, but, uh, the owner, my cousin took the side of this person because, well, this person, my cousin didn't really have much respect for me in the first place. So, well, yeah. And, um, she never, and, um, I basically did this job for a weekend, two days. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, um, and she never asked me to um, ask to rehire me because at the time I was um, I was actually staying at her place part time because I was staying at her place because I was going to school. But um, I guess my apartment wasn't ready until much later in the year, so I was staying there. And she could have asked me to uh, work there again, but um, that never happened because, well, I guess you know my poor social skills and lack of awareness you know just kind of set up this dynamic where i was immediately not liked by my Im fellow employees who i guess was my senior employee at the time although there really wasn't any like kind of like senior position apart from the owner my cousin herself being the boss of everybody but still um well that was that and um it's like yeah, and the next job I had was basically non-existent because <laughs> that's pretty much the only fucking job I've ever worked. I worked two days at my cousin's fucking bake shop. And um, yeah, and she never asked me to work there again. And I never, pretty much the only reason I ever tried working was because, well, she asked me to and I guess she didn't um asked me to again so i was like fuck it and i just didn't bother trying to get a job because well i had school i guess at the time and then kind of left a bad taste in my mouth um as far as what it's like in the workplace not i was probably like as easy as it gets as far as work goes because um i well i was it was 
it was pretty clean for like a kitchen because I guess it was like a bake shop and it's supposed to be kind of bougie although not really truly but well it was kind of nice I guess it smelled like baked goods and you know I guess I wouldn't mind working like there somewhere like that like part-time you know or maybe even full-time if I really had to cope it wasn't terrible I wasn't breaking my back and yeah but well I guess I messed it up and oh yeah the other thing is uh I left I accidentally forgot to take some quiches out of the oven for like a minute and I guess my cousin got really mad at me Although she denies this, but she was kind of like freaking out at the time. But yeah, that was also my fault. So maybe that's another reason. But yeah, just all these things combined, like it's clear I'm I'm a shit employee. I literally have no like serviceable skills in the workforce. Um, and I only got the job because of, I guess, nepotism. Although that didn't really last because I, I'm not capable of getting first good of good first impressions and yeah it's my work history is a fucking joke <laughs> i literally i guess yeah i'm fucking need all my life when i'm when i'm not in school basically and yeah um i guess i don't know what else to talk about um yeah it's like what what are what am i supposed to tell employers i guess the only good thing is that my cousin said she lied for me and my resume but it's like i could lie on my resume but it would be so obvious that i lack the skills i'd claim to have having worked in the big shop because well you know i was basically shit i couldn't even last a weekend so it's like i'm not built to function in the average workforce i guess i can't fit alongside other people in that sort of environment and you know i've never really been good with you know being assertive and standing up for myself and shit so that would probably make like most workplaces hell for me at the very least and not only that my lack of communication skills um, will probably bite me in the ass and cause a lot of misunderstandings. And if anything goes wrong, I feel like I'm likely the type of person to get thrown under the bus just because it's happened to me a lot of different times in my life. Um, you know, not necessarily in like a workplace context, but just in general where at school it's happened a lot. Um, and yeah, um, it's like... It's just, yeah. I'm a shit employee, I guess. Maybe I could have improved, but in terms of like the efficiency of what I was actually doing, but you know, as far as my, you know, like ability to mesh with others and be a be a part of a team, whatever bullshit, um, I was clearly not capable of that, and I feel like I'd hate it, though. You know, I guess I can't really, um, I can't really, uh, you know, know unless I fully try and get an actual job, which I intend to in the future, just to give it a try part time. But that was my work history, and it's clear I've got a lot of, you know, creative writing, exaggerating to do when I write my resume. You know, which I might, uh, <laughs> which I might film on youtube for jokes you know maybe record my screen or something but anyways yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh um, you know i keep saying this but i'll be trying to upload more frequently yeah and uh if you guys like what you've seen uh make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below and yeah this is comfy neat signing out